So here's a fun fact about me, guys. I absolutely love reality TV. I'm telling you, huge fan. So when I found out that Leah Messer from MTV's Teen Mom 2 was releasing her own memoir detailing her life as a teen mom, raising a child with special needs, co-parenting, and even including her brief abuse of prescription drugs, I was happy to have her on the show to tell us all about it. Hey, Leah. Hi, thank you for having me. It's no nice talking problem. to you. I'm so excited to talk to you. How are you and the girls uh, doing during this pandemic? We're doing well. I think we're making the best um, uh, out of these unprecedented times. Um, but, you know, we're, we're doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, uh, surprisingly. <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's been crazy. It's <laughs> been crazy here at the studio, but we are all making it, like we were saying earlier, you know, balance is the key. Yes, it really is. I, I have definitely learned to appreciate everything and learn some uh, balance because I have been handed a lot of tasks in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're all taking turns that we did not expect to take, girl. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk to you about this is true. <laughs> I want to talk to you about Teen Mom 2. Uh, I, I am a big fan, just so you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're watching season uh, 10 right now, and oh. it looks like your co-parenting with Jeremy and uh, Corey is going well. And then we got hit with this pandemic, and I just want to know if that's altering those relationships. I'll be honest with you, I am so proud of individually, each each of our, our growth individually. Um, it, we've really been able to communicate so effectively given these times and just really put the girls' best interests at, at heart, every single one of us. So I, I'm happy with, with, the way, with the way things are going, giving the times that we, we are in. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You guys uh, all look like it's a cohesive unit, and the girls are very happy. They're so cute. I love, I love watching all of them. Thank um, you. And speaking of the girls, you have a new book called Hope, Grace, and Faith, named after your girls. Tell me why you decided to write that. Uh, I feel like so many has watched me on the show since 17, but they didn't know everything about me like the core of really who i am and what my like my, my goal is to change the trajectory of my family and not them have a more solid foundation and i really didn't want anyone else to feel alone in the things that maybe i had the adversity that i had faced whether it was in my childhood or you know the decisions that kind of came from my childhood my foundation that propelled the decisions i made as an adult um, and I just, that was, that was my whole purpose and goal behind writing my memoir is just to really connect with my audience that had been watching me for so many years and really let them in on like who I am and the things that, you know, I've faced. However, my, like the, the goal behind it was just really to change the traje trajectory of the way I was raised and building a better foundation for each of my daughters to even have more opportunities starting as, as a young age. Yeah, and I have to tell you, I got a chance to read just a little bit of it, and I want to just tell you, as a fan of the show, it's great. I am loving what I'm reading so far, so congratulations on that. Great job. And I want to ask you what the writing yeah. process was like. How did you go about that? Because this is a new avenue for you, right? <laughs> it, it was. It was so... I love it now. I've never read, I've actually wasn't a big fan of reading prior to writing my book. And now I'm buying books left and right. I want a library in my dream home. I want the biggest library. And I, I just, I love reading. I feel like it's a great way to, I don't know, just better educate myself and all, all of that. So I, it was, and then, and, and, sorry, my dog is barking. It was definitely a cathartic experience. Did you have a chance to tell the girls about anything about the book or that you were writing it or talk them through it? I definitely, my, the girls and I have, or me and the girls have a great open communication with each other. So they know things that I went through as a child. And they also know like kind of what propelled me even to become a teen mom so young. And I think being open and honest with them about that is 
allowing them to make different decisions than I did. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't let them read everything, but I've definitely been open with them about why I wrote my book and the purpose behind writing my book. Well, I love to hear that. I think that you're doing a wonderful job, and uh, I can't wait to see the rest of season 10. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Leah, and you guys make sure to Thank pick you. up her book today. Yes, absolutely. Pick up Leah's book today, online, or in stores, anywhere you can find books.